Hello, welcome to this series of tutorials on embedded protocols. In today's session, let us look at the UART. Let us look at the waveform and let us identify each bit represented in UART. So without any delay, I have my Sally connected to my STM32 board, the UART 2 pin, transmit pin probably, and I'm transmitting something. As we all know, 0x61 is A, so I've been transmitting the alphabet, the character A, continuously every often okay and i've also toggled the gpio that's for a different testing purpose now to explain you what you always have the, the the tx or the rx pin idle the idle line is denoted by a continuous high and the start bit is a single bit of high to low a one bit low indicates the start and a one bit high indicates a stop so in in between the start and stop you have the data and if there is a parity the parity as well is included so now here in our case uh, each bit as we see is 8.583 microsecond and this corresponds to uh, 115200 baud rate so 115200 and how do we get it we can just maybe open the calculator 1 divided by 115200 is going to give you 8.6 microsecond that we got for one bit so uh, this is the basic waveform of UART and the data is to be read, the data is transmitted in MSB first fashion that is the most significant bit in our case here is the 0 is in the rightmost end. So you need to read a waveform in a reverse way. Thankfully we have tools like Saleh which beautifully decode this for us otherwise the data is read like this 0 1 1 0 which is 6 and 0 0 0 1 which is 1 6 1 this corresponds to a and if we were to transmit two bytes one after the other it just the next start can you know start immediately after this stop bit why don't we try that now okay so what I will do is I will transmit a b that is two characters through you want I'm using stm32 cube ID for this I just have connected my development board and I try to flash I hope it works yeah let me try to run this okay so we see 0x61 followed by 0x62 and we see a small interframe space here which is not absolutely required as per the protocol yeah see the time difference 8.583 microsecond and for one bit it is 8.583 so absolutely this is just for an indication uh, so this is the stop bit and immediately you have your start bit of the character b and we see that the elements the bytes are transmitted uh, in your direct order this is a and this is b that is how we are transmitted and the bits inside are to be read in the reverse way like we had seen more to follow on other protocols as well as a lot of details on UART like the interrupt, the DMA modes and applications in future videos. So thank you.